Today on the DBN, Arizona was the center of the universe and Michael was there. He gives us a detailed account of the Waste Management Open, of what it was like having the Super Bowl in Glendale, the parties, the concerts. He was there, he survived, and he's here to tell us what went down. Shay is also here, audio only, uh, to give us his take on the crazy Super Bowl, um, the NBA trade deadline, LeBron James, Instagram, and, uh, of course, we get into The Last of Us, episodes four and five. We missed episode four last week. We, we had to dive in. We two, two episodes in Kansas City. We break it down. We go spoilers. Um, this is the DBN. This is Hey Dylan. Hey Dylan. Thanks for taking my call. Hey Dylan. Big fan of the show. He was fan of the show. Love what you're doing. Big fan of the show. I'm so glad to have a minute of your time. Hi Dylan. Thanks for having Dylan. Look, I cannot help you. I'm sorry. It's not hard to understand, okay? So, here's my thought. You would be crazy to think that. Welcome into the DBN. Uh, I'm your host, Dylan Barry. Uh, we're here, a very special episode. Uh, the gang's together, you could say. Um, we, But not all, Partially. Three fa- not all three faces. Yeah, we got... We're missing, uh, we're missing one. We got Michael back, <laughs> back on the pod. Michael, welcome back, dude. Thank uh, you. Long first time, long time, um, and then and then Shay, if you can hear him right now, Shay, you there? I'm here, man. We got you. All right, awesome, dude. How? What? Why can't we see you right now? Uh, I'm doing uh, mo- I'm doing motherly duties around the house. What are you making? Making dinner, uh, like a spinach chicken ravioli or a mozzarella chicken ravioli. Is that grill running? Thing. No, it's not. I've replaced the propane tank, so we're we're in the clear. Nice. Dang. Well, uh, yeah. Dude. Um, Shay, you uh, you want we wanted to tap you into this uh, Last of Us conversation. Wanted to hear. Uh, <laughs> Super Bowl weekend was in Arizona. Michael, you you had your feet on the ground there. Maybe you weren't at the Super Bowl. <laughs> A little waste man. Who was there? Hey, oh, he, he was the Super Bowl. Dude, that's true. The big game was just the whole weekend for Mike. Um, but yeah, dude, Arizona's biggest weekend, it was like, even like Shay, dude, was it like weird to not be there? It was very weird, dude. I had crazy FOMO. Mm, as you crazy should. FOMO. Yeah, dude. I, I mean, uh, I kept getting that question, too. They're like, well, dude, why aren't you in Arizona? And I'm like, uh, it's a great question. I mean, I'd plan to. but. Hey, but- but next year, the Super Bowl is here, so. Yeah, dude. We'll have to be there for that one. Here, uh, as in snowy Las Vegas, huh? Snowy Las Vegas, man. Dude, what the hell? That is crazy. Um, But, uh, yeah, Mike, dude, let's start with you, Mike. You, uh, What did you get into this weekend? Not, no, you don't have to get into details. Like, I mean, I don't need to hear, you know, names of anyone involved. But, like, dude, you were at some, <laughs> you were, you saw, you were at some parties. I mean, I mean, I was at the the bird's nest, right? So, uh, so for those unfamiliar with the waste management open, right? So you got the open, which is the golf all day, hmm. and then across the street you got the bird's nest, which is where they do their concerts. And you were there on and, Saturday uh, or Friday or both? Both, both. Jeez. So uh, I I was able to score some hookups this year, uh, you know. So shout out, shout out to the squad for that. Um, but so Friday was the MGK concert. Nice. Um, you was know, Megan Fox there? Evidently, she was. She had a cabana. Um, wow! Like if the if you've ever been there, like it's basically just this huge tent. Um, but the cabanas are like you know like a second story thing, and you just get free drinks and all that stuff. You know, get to be rich. Or, Evidently, she had a, a cabana hookup. there. Yeah, but uh, so we did the Bird's Nest, and apparently Friday Saturday was both sold out as far as concerts go. Like, you hold on, get I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna cut you off. You say we? Who's we? <laughs> What do you mean? Like you, know, you like, said we did the bird's nest both days. Was it like Zach? We? Zach was there, right? Zach and Cat. Oh yeah, yeah. So we had Zach there uh, Saturday night, and then Cha went Friday night because he's much more of a rock dude. He actually uh, knew MGK songs. I didn't know, to be honest. Wait, so he was wanted, kinda... he was there to see MGK? Yeah. Dang. Yeah, he knew the opener too, uh, like Jason or something like that, or Just Jared. Jason. It's probably got a name, but I just I just didn't know enough. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, good time. Uh, got the VAP section that night, so it was like free drinks and stuff. Uh, a lot of fun. 
And then Saturday is the actual open, which, I mean, this would be a first shape. Apparently, they sold out of tickets, um, which has never happened Dude, I, you know what? I thought about that. What do you mean it never I happens? Because like, it's the okay, biggest party. Maybe, okay. The Waste Management Open Hold is on, the biggest party in Arizona, right? Like, that's what yeah. it's here's, here's my thing. Here's my thing on that. I think – I don't. I don't think like there's like a set. I think after a while, like they had to stop selling tickets. Otherwise, exactly like it, it would have been, it would have yeah. been crazy. Yeah. So because like they advertise how you can buy tickets there, right? And that's like, hey, you know, general admission because it's just walking around. Um, and it's a it's a huge course, right? Um, but evidently, I think it was like Thursday or Wednesday they put a cap on it. They're like, all right, this is just too much. And so you couldn't even you couldn't buy tickets for Friday or Saturday. Um, you had to like people started hopping on offer up and stuff up and all that stuff. So they like marked it up like crazy. Dang. What was the like what's the energy like there? Because like it's obviously like it was a destination spot. Like, are you seeing like celebrities everywhere? Is everyone beautiful? Is everyone just like totally lit? Like not a um, you know what I mean? Like is it because I've never been celebrities I, there. I, I just like I'm like terrible at spotting that stuff. I mean, yeah. I, I just don't know. Dylan, you've, right? never, you've never been to the open? No, I've never been. Oh boy, dude, you're blast. missing out. Yeah, um, everyone is just like everyone's beautiful at the open, man. Like, I mean, everyone's like dressed up, everyone's drunk, everyone's having a great time. Uh, friendly environment, right? Uh, really, generally, everyone kind of just is vibing. Um, you kind of like the the worst part though is like I swear because I only ever I think I've only ever been there on Saturdays, and like it'll be so nice weather wise all week long, and then every Saturday it's like just stupid hot, which is unfortunate. Um, dude, so last like, year it, was stupid hot. Yeah, dude, it, it gets sweaty out there. <laughs> like you, you can tell the folks who've been there for a while because like towards the end of the day, right, people start just kind of passing out. Like you'll see more <laughs> folks on the lawns. Um, that's crazy. Yeah, but I mean, dude, it's uh. I mean, it's a party, and then you just, just go. Uh, you go right from there to a different party to just whatever you hit the bars right after. Yeah, so I mean, right, that's what we did last year because uh, it's it's kind of up there like north north Scottsdale area. So old town's like a pretty like by a, it's spot. by Cody's church. Yeah, 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 right by the uh, airport, whatever. Um, I wish you'd pick me up. Uh, but uh, <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, what were Uber prices like all weekend? Oh man, Friday night, um, Uber there. I think I got for like sixty. Jeez. Uber back, I walked for like a mile or two, and I got it for a hundred. Wow! After yeah. walking a mile from the, jeez. Yeah, that was Friday, and then Saturday, Cat's uh, uh, girlfriend was willing to drive. Wow! So Flush. she probably saved us a couple hundred bucks. Nice. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, they deal cases to go like. I mean, I've only ever done like general admission there, but man, I would love to do like whole sixteen or one of those ones, right? Where it's just like, uh, dude, we gotta 16. do it. We gotta, yeah. Do it. Well, so yeah, how does dude. it work? You, you like you, you actually have to get tickets for that. Like that's a uh, that's not like it's wristbands, entry. but yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I think. Well, I can't remember. So, if Sixteen's like drink? a first come, first serve thing or what it is. Um, no, no, the stands is the stands is first come, first serve. And uh, then, like, to get in the greenskeepers, you need, like, a special ticket. Yeah. It's Which, probably, that's what we have to do. Yeah. I think I was looking at that stuff, and, like, some of them are, like, a few hundred, and then others are, like, a couple grand. Um, and then on top of that, like, just the general admission tickets, like, after fees and everything are, like, 100 bucks a pop. Um, so they rake in money. Uh, all weekend. Yeah. Well, because it, it's all week. I think it starts oh, yeah. on Monday. Yeah, they do the celebrity program on Wednesday. I heard right, like that's when the, the like like that's when it starts. Yeah, Maybe. the celebrities Wednesday, but like Monday and Tuesday is all practice stuff, but that's all open to the public. And all this is happening while the Super Bowl is also taking place. Usually, it's a it's a massive party without the Super Bowl, yeah. and it's just it's it's a huge weekend. But it's insane that it falls on the Super Bowl weekend. Because uh, Arizona gets it, what, every, like, what has it been, seven, eight years since we got the last one? 2015? Uh, yeah. Was it the Seahawks, Seahawks, Pats. Um, yeah, was that 16 or 15? I think it was 15. Um, mm. 
Yeah, it was not 15. Sure. It was absolutely 15. Um, yeah, a lot of Eagles fans. At it really? This year. Yeah, basically, if you were wearing green, it was like, hey, go Philly, you know, bang, bang, birdie gang. Um, so, I mean, it's kind of like, uh, I mean, where's it's almost like walking the Vegas strip, right? You, you, when you're walking the Vegas strip and you're drunk, like, for, you know, forks yeah. up, you know, like people just like, I've been shouting each at that time of night, right? People are just, I mean, they're there to get messed up. So yeah. it's the same at the open, right? Everyone's there to get messed up a little bit. So I don't know anybody that's like a golf fan there. Well, it's like watching golf there. Yeah, that's nutty. Uh, but so you didn't get, you didn't even go to bars Friday or Saturday night. You went to parties. Concerts. Concerts. That's what, that's what I call it. Yeah. Concerts. Wow. Yeah. I mean, the Bird's Nest is a concert, right? It's just, it's like. Uh, and MGK was. They, they book an artist. MGK is Friday night. And then Saturday night was Chainsmokers. Uh, and then uh, who was the opener for Chainsmokers? Griffin? Does that sound like. Does anybody know that name? Mm. Um, like DJ. Yeah. Stuff. I mean, yeah. Clearly, I just don't know artists. Um <laughs> But uh, yeah, Saturday night was chain smokers. Um, but yeah, I mean, they book an artist. There's a stage, right? Yeah. Um, it's kind of like it's almost like a mini carnival, like the tent. To be honest, like because it's like a massive tent, and like just out in front of it, they got like uh, games, little food trucks, you know, all that stuff, uh, cornhole, whatever. And so, yeah. like, the closer you get, all of a sudden you use the tent. All of a sudden, you got like the light show and psh, confetti and crap. Jeez. That's nice. So, yeah. How long? Uh, how long was your recovery after two two days of bender? Was, was what was Sunday like? <laughs> it, it was. Uh, I uh, I fell asleep during the Super Bowl, um, but uh, Dude, this the, was uh, a hard Super Bowl to fall asleep to. This was. I know, right? It was a close game. Gosh, um, the whole way. The game actually, right? Time. Yeah. I mean, well, once I lost the coin toss, I lost a little bit of interest in it. But oh, um, my gosh, yeah, we'll get into that. <laughs> Tails, uh, but. Uh, it's not. It wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be because, like the, uh, because the Bird's Nest concert is like supposed to be falling in the open. It kind of starts pretty early, so like the opener, I think he's on like by like uh, seven thirty or something like that, hmm. and then like the main event guy pops out by like eight thirty nine or something. I want to say. Yeah. Um. So cause I think Friday, I think we were like the, he MGK played like his last song by like ten thirty. Um, wow. So it's not like you're, yeah, you're not out there like past midnight or one or anything like that. Um, so in that sense, it, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Dang. Um, well, then Dang, we... that's not bad. The, the fact that they don't, it's not that late is actually kind of good because that still yeah. gives you time to like do stuff after that. Yeah, I, yeah, I would agree. Or, or read I kind of liked how early it ended. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, because basically Friday night I was like, I was able to get back. Um, early enough. I think I was back by like midnight or something, but because it's the open the next day, you just, you know, you wake up and start again. Well, I mean, good. when we get to Super Bowl, we have our second annual. This is the second time we've done this, the coin toss. Um, Dude, we're over 2. Oh, for 2. Oh, I don't, what did we pick? Two I, I, think, I think we went heads last year, too. Interesting. Mm, dude, I think, we, I think we went tails last year, to be honest. Did we? Uh, either way, yeah. Look at what was her name. Let me see if I can search it. I got my computer. Billie Jean King. Billie Jean King. That whore, dude. That whore, Billie Jean <laughs> King, dude. Oh, <laughs> gosh, I cannot believe that. She ruined the Super Bowl for us. She did, dude. Especially like we're putting units on on this coin toss here. Um, painful, dude. How do you how do you start? How do you enjoy the the first quarter? Um. You but Shay, Shay, I guess uh, from your perspective, what do you do you think of this Super Bowl, dude? This was uh, this felt like um, this felt like it, it was phenomenal, start to finish, drama. Yeah, it great was good. Team. I, I wanted the Eagle, I wanted the Eagles to win. I don't like the Chiefs. I know you're a Chiefs fan due to family, but I just don't like Patrick Mahomes, man. He's just I don't know. I wanted the Birds to win. Um, it was a good he, game. But I equally so, Jalen Hurts, like, I mean, I know Patrick Mahomes is a little dork, but, like, Jalen Hurts is also kind of boring. Like, he, I mean, he's cool. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. I would agree with that. I just, I knew it was going to be a good game. I don't know why the total was as low as it was. Dude, yeah, that, made that hit zero third quarter. Sense to me. And uh, we capitalized on that for sure, but yeah. um, it was a good game. I mean, I know that, I know you talked about it, like, in our group thread, the Eagles, you know, had this vaunted number one defense. 
Yeah. But you knew the Chiefs would score on him. You know, yeah, um, you knew Patrick Mahomes would score on him, and is the the Chiefs don't have a good defense, so yeah, it was a uh, it was everything I kind of thought it would it would be. Uh, uh, the call, I guess, yeah, that's a different story for another time. But yeah. I get it's the right call, but you just I don't know, like it just makes it very anticlimactic. Climatic, I don't think it's and, the right uh, call in that moment. Yeah, it's not. It's not. And you can't call that right there. You can't because I mean I know the thing is is he was still open like Patrick kind of missed that throw like he if if he threw yeah it in the right I, spot. he, he wouldn't have caught that ball yeah it was a uh, so yeah and and we hadn't seen any of those calls really the whole game too um and no that was not pretty at mild. All. I wish were you shocked that he like kind of owned up to it I mean it seems like the Eagles across the board were all very like. <laughs> They were all it, very, it was, uh, you know, it doesn't come dude, down to yeah. one play. No one complained. Nobody. Um, dude, it reminded me of that one commercial where that kid said the ball's out on me. Right. The. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah the, he's like, Coach, the coach ball's I touched out on it. me. Coach, I touched <laughs> it. <laughs> hey, bag. Good work, sir. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I just, you know, I, I don't think they had, they had no choice but to own up to it. Because yeah. in a way, I mean, they. The the Chiefs scored on every possession in the second half, so I mean they had no one to blame but themselves. Yeah. So I, I guess they kind of had to do a little bit of owning up. Uh, do you buy into Turfgate at all? Because I know I feel like Barstool has been pushing Turfgate, but both teams played dude, the, on the, the turf. The field dude. was bad. But both teams played. The on field it. was bad. No, yeah. I agree. I agree. So it's not like one team had an advantage, dude. And but like, it definitely. In Rihanna's stage, like usually, like the stage is something they worry about, and all the people on the field, dude. The, it was a very minimal halftime show, as far as I mean, it, they, she was suspended up in the air too. But like, it wasn't like the field was getting yeah, hurt, like, and wasn't... the fact that they were, yeah, just gushing about how much they would spent on the field, and they showed that whole thing before the game of wheeling yeah, in. Yeah, dude, and... I read about it. Like, I read about it that morning about how they've been growing this turf for like years for this moment, and it was a, it was a, it was a train wreck. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like that stadium, uh, I remember in the Fiesta Bowl, they had issues with it. And then, like, during the season, other teams were complaining about it. So, what about uh, that? What about you, Shay? Uh, when you touched that grass, you know, back in the day, you know, what was it like? <laughs> was it it feel uh, you know, I tell you what, it was not as good as Highland High School's grass. Really? They still have the best grass. <laughs> yeah. Really, best grass in, <laughs> yeah, the, in the East Valley, or what? They had they had the best grass. I distinctly remember their grass, dude. PFT said like it was supposed to be great grass, but instead it was shake, and I was like, man, PFT. <laughs> Killer. Killer. Uh, no, but to answer your question, it was it was a good game. I mean, that's everything you want out of the Super Bowl. Um, yeah. Drama, high scoring. No one wants to see a low scoring, boring game. Yeah. Uh, but dude, it, it felt like like the second half like flew by. Yeah, it did. Like I just I looked up and it was like the fourth quarter. And I was like, "What the hell?" Yeah. Do you think when the commercial he... the commercial sucked? You, uh, yeah, dude. The old the the com- most memorable commercial had to have been that Tubi one, right? Like the did. Oh, we you thought guys... you touched the remote, whatever. Yes. Oh yeah. my gosh, I'm kind of shocked. That's the if that's like never been done before, and maybe it has. But uh, that was like alarming at our at our party. My uh, my roommate Harry, he's a massive Chiefs fan, and that's uh, mostly who I was riding with. But I also had a plus three hundred future before the playoffs on the Chiefs, and so I was that's why I was pulling for him. Uh, I mean, I only put like twenty five bucks on it, but that's still it was still a nice hit. Hey, that's a good um, hit though. It, it paid off the, the hey, coin we, toss. A win's, a, take win's a, a win. Take a win's a win. Yeah, it, co- it, right. covered, uh-huh. it covered the coin toss. That's that's what that's what it did. Uh, and then um, and then the over was was nice too. But I didn't put enough on that. Um, yeah, dude. I thought it was I thought it was a great Super Bowl. And it just it definitely. And I don't know if it was because it was Arizona. And you kind of said this earlier about the FOMO. But it was just like so cool that like Arizona was the center of the universe like this weekend and even like seeing um like devin booker his his recent post shay you just sent something but he was like yeah. i mean first of, yeah first off phoenix is just with kevin durant which we can we can move to like is it michael wilbon Huge. said michael wilbon said he's like we're not on any fault lines here but this morning 
the ground was shaking. And cause, cause, <laughs> it cause, like an earthquake I, or something? Yeah, yeah dude, because, I mean, what was it, Wednesday morning, Thursday morning, we wake up? Or I guess, Shay, you were awake, of course. Um, mm-hmm. I was awake when it happened, of course. I oh was my. Dude, I woke up to 40 text messages. I mean, a lot of it was Goatbrook. But I, I had a lot of messages being like, oh my gosh, or congrats, or holy cow. And I was like, what's going on? <laughs> and then... Like gosh. you had some role in it. And then... <laughs> hey, hey, Dylan, thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah, thanks for getting that one for us. Yeah, dude. Uh, but he's yeah. inside, man. He made it happen. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> dude, no, yeah. I, I felt like I had a kid or something when I went to the office because people were stopping by my desk and being like, hey, man, congrats. Like, hey, I'm really happy for you. Hey, like, how you feeling? Yeah, 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 yeah. There was a lot of like, dude, hey, hey you must uh, How's be the home life going? <laughs> yeah. Dude, just like, that probably feels just as good as having a kid. Oh, dude. Well, I mean, now, of course, the pressure's on. Like, now we really can't blow this thing. And, uh, they'll find a way. It's just, it's all about staying healthy now. Let the guys, let the guys rest. Let everybody, no hamstring injuries this year, no groins, no, uh, no fatigue injuries. And we got Kevin Durant and we got a a straight path to the title. We just got to get through John Morant, you know? Mm. Mm. Tough. Oof, tough. Uh, or Kyrie Irving. Frauds, 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 frauds. Dude, if they don't have Dorian Finney-Smith, I feel confident we can beat him now. You know, like he was the he was didn't he score twenty seven points in the playoffs against us last year? <laughs> yeah, he, he hit did like he hit like eight threes. Um, Were they talking like they're gonna get rid of Kyrie now too off the maps? Like, it's well, I think he's a free agent the, after this year. Yeah, he's free oh agent. okay, so if they're, ta- they're just talking long term then. Okay. Yeah. That's why they're people like are thinking you know. If the Suns move off of Chris Paul and they bring in Kyrie Irving, but gosh, I hope Ooh. that yeah, I hope that's not real. Um, but I mean, Shay is it's pretty crazy. Matt Ishbia steps in twelve hours. Maybe it wasn't a James Jones Dude, problem. He, Are you he, ready to say it wasn't a James Jones? He, no, it was a James Jones problem because he had a, he still had to convince James Jones to include Mikael Bridges. Mm. Were you were you shocked? It James wasn't Jones were you shocked it wasn't Aiden leaving? Like, or that we kept Aiden? No, because they didn't want him. They didn't want Aiden. Brooklyn didn't want him. Correct. Hmm. Dude, I just, my whole thing is like, dude, I get that Mikel Bridges and Cam Johnson are fun. Mike, I know you love Cam Johnson, but, I mean, <laughs> my <laughs> God, dude. They traded for Kevin Durant. Yeah. TJ you know Warren, Tony they Buckets. They didn't, they, didn't, they didn't trade for Pascal Siakam. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's just tough, dude. To it's what, like you had to do what you had to do. The hard part is, is like you you see all these teams, like the Warriors, um, all these teams. It's just the Warriors, but they built their team through the draft, and like the Suns yeah. felt like we drafted a couple gems, like we we got some. But you know, Mikkel Bridges, Mikkel Bridges isn't Clay Thompson. Yeah, neither. Nor I, is Clay Johnson. No. They're just so well liked, though. I mean, I feel like yeah. they like bleed Phoenix. Uh-huh. And, and dude, they were just there for when we started to get good. Like, and uh, yeah, they were there for these kind of great seasons where we were on top of the world and we made our title run. And it was because of those guys in their roles that, like, you know, helped us catch fire, energy, all that stuff. So it's just Mike, like, it, it's a fun era of the sun. Talk to me. You said it best, man. Mikael Bridges and Cam Johnson are puppies. They need to stay on the porch. <laughs> Puppies, dog. They're yep. puppies. Kevin Durant, Kevin you kept, the, you kept that waiting for those puppies to grow up, and they never did, man. Hey, yeah. You, you get flashes Durant's of that, it. That, he's, he's that big pit bull that, hey. Hey, big dog. You, you, big dogs eat, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. No. I just think I'll always root for him. I get, I'll I get, get, I get, always root for him. I hope that they do great in the East. I hope that they can shake things up or even, you know, they can – I don't know. I think them being like some of the best players on their team is really going to show how, how they are. And being in the yeah. East, like they could just kind of still blend. be role players. Type thing. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, Brooklyn's kind of interesting. And like, if you are trying to rebuild, like those aren't two guys to like complain about building around or mm-hmm. like starting. Um, no, I get it. I get it. I think it was a very good trade on both sides. Yeah. Um, but at the I, end of the I day, agree dude, with I, mean, I agree with what you said last summer. Was that like. Yeah, we might be at you know our cap with Mikel Bridges' skill and whatnot, and I just I definitely wish we weren't. I wish that he you know did have more a higher ceiling, and that he was 
Uh, Brandon Ingram, even like, but he's well, just. Dude, I would love that. Yeah. I don't think that's not. I don't, he's not capable of that. I don't think. Yeah. And and the, but, but now, dude, now. It, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no. I mean, that's that's kind of it. Just miss. I just. Things. I feel like. I feel like. Obviously, if they win a title, this will all be worth it. Sure. But let me ask you Definitely. a question: Is there any outcome in which it's not worth it at all? Because I th- I can think of one or two, but let's say they get to the finals this year and lose it, and then next year they lose in the Western Conference Finals. Like, is that worth it? No, I mean, dude, it's always worth it to get a Kevin Durant. Like, I mean, I'm I'm in the boat that Kevin Durant stays healthy his whole career, and he is the greatest player of all time. Like, I I'm in that I'm in that boat because I I don't think there's anyone as good as him. He's his only issue has been maybe loyalty. And uh, health. Other like otherwise, he, the guy's a monster, and like he. Okay, only... but what's okay? He... Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I mean like it's just the the few times he got bounced was from these playing these super teams or playing against LeBron in Miami, and like other than that, like Kevin Durant's only found success when he's healthy. Um, and so yeah, I, I think this is gonna be worth it. Uh, and I'm all for pushing in the chips. While we have Booker, while we have Chris Paul, who I think, you know, we don't need to rely on him to score as much anymore. So I actually think we're going to get a better Chris Paul um, because, I, you know, we we won't need him to score. But it's going to be interesting to see Devin Booker yeah. for the first time in his career was, not be the best player on his team. I was talking about this with my cousin this weekend. Does anybody have it better than DeAndre Eaton right now? No. Dude, no. all he has to do is rebound the ball play defense, and get his 10 to 15 points. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they don't need anything else from that bum. Dude, Just that, play hard, play defense, that, and don't be an idiot. That, Do you think he's going to throw a pity party the second half of the season? Or, see, that, that's, that's, that's my thing, man. I don't know. Yeah. Part of me is like, part of me is like, well, now he's pissed off that he won't even be – he's not even more the man now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, he's taking a lesser role. Yeah. But – if he wants to win, if he wants to do the things to win a championship, he's got to take a couple steps back and just play hard and do what he's told to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't cry and don't complain and don't get in the fight with the head coach on the sideline. Yeah. The, it's uh, a big if, but I think I think he's the biggest factor in all of this, to be honest with you. Hmm. Well, I mean, it really was – it was size, right, that, like, killed us in that finals was, yeah, just him not being aggressive. And I hated that clip last night of, you know, it was Kevin Durant and Devin Booker on the sideline, like, cheering for two missed free throws. You know, everyone gets uh, Chick-fil-A. I don't know if you noticed, but he misses the free throw. Everyone goes nuts. And DeAndre Ayton misses the rebound, and the other team got the ball back. <laughs> The, I mean, the come King, on. Man. The Kings got the ball back, and I'm like, dude, this is typical. Like, oh, <laughs> like this is this is kind of what we're used to. Um, but yeah, dude, I I don't know. I think, um, yeah, uh, I, I'm excited for the oh, Suns, okay. and I okay. like Terrence I'm, Ross I'm pickup. Get... We don't have Sarge anymore, Shay. I feel like you controlled this trade deadline, and I did. <laughs> you I did. did. Call me. You got T.J. Warren back, that dude. Is... You always compared yourself to T.J. Warren. Me and said... He said, what do we need? What do we need to do? And I said, take a seat, Matt. <laughs> Grab it. Pull up a chair, No, Matt. dude, because they just... Okay, here's my thing. When I think of the past 10 years, 15 years, for some reason, those that Toronto Raptors team that won the championship and the Miami Heat teams that won the championship, they always stick out to me because they had a star. They had a really good number two they had a point guard to facilitate things and they had role players that did their job like the Raptors in my opinion that year I know Kevin Grant was hurt but and, they had the perfect and Clay. team and Clay and Clay I they had the perfect team yeah they had a star they had a great number two a good point guard who facilitated things control things and Kyle Lowry and then they had role players that did what they were supposed to do Fred Van Bleet. uh oh they just they had the perfect holes like they had everything and that's what the Suns need to do. Like they have a star. Booker can be a, a better a better number two. They Chris Paul doesn't need to do anything, just facilitate, control the flow of the game, 
make sure everybody's, you know, in the moment, and then just have role players that fill their fill their spots. Like you said, Terrence Ross, hit threes, yeah. guard the perimeter. You know what I'm saying? TJ yeah. Warren. So, like, people are like, well, we're losing three-point shooting. But at the end of the day, dude, TJ Warren's going to give you the same amount of points as Cam Johnson. It's just going to look different. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, dude. When you open, like, I feel like the the Suns like bench is a little bit like opening the fridge for like the fifth time in one night, where you're like, shoot, do we have anything in here? And if like, like, I feel like the backup point guard spot is such a, I don't know, it's so hot and cold because like campaign. I mean, him and Shamit are both hurt, but like those dude, guys I mean, are just not the, consistent. The, and 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 like perfect. we can't expect Chris Paul to play more than. 34 minutes a night, I feel like, you know, he's got to be, he's got to only play perfect, maybe 20 or 30. Dude, the perfect trade deadline for me was everything that happened and then trading campaign. Yeah. They desperately need a backup point guard or a, just a, a ball handler that can control things and facilitate and just be trustworthy when you need him to. And I don't trust campaign at all. You know that. Well, let me ask you. Let me shift gears. We're gonna stay in the NBA, but I gotta ask you, Shay. Is what? What do you do with Russell Westbrook? What does Russell Westbrook do mm. now? Because honestly, like I have a hard time trying to figure out a scenario where it's like, oh man, he'd be a good fit. Blank. You know, like I. Um, the Lakers kind of like tough. oddly worked because it was just it's a mess over there, and it's. Yeah, it's uh as 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 shitty as it sounds, man. Like, it's just kind of tough, man. He's in a he's in a really tough spot because, like, dude, he's still out there like competing yeah. better than ninety percent of the players in the league. Yeah, it's just like his skill set has like diminished. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, it's weird, dude. And you heard I, I don't know if you heard Pat Bev talk about him, but like, it sounds like he's still that guy getting to the gym, like first thing. Putting in, yeah, like you said, putting in the work. Um, he still has that workhorse energy, but it's just sloppy, man. It's just. Oh. He is, and I think like he tries a little he inconsistent, tries too hard. Yeah, yeah, like, dude. I think he, his athleticism has dipped a little bit. So to make up for that, like he's overly trying. Yeah. On things that were in the past, like his athleticism, let him get away with it. Yeah. He's Robert and like now, I don't think he's. I don't think he's <laughs> no, dude. He's a little more, a little more Kelton. I feel like he's just running all yeah, over the right. place. He's you just, know, he moving. He, he moving. will dive on the ball. He will get passionate. Um, but he'll go one uh, for nine. I just it's it's tough, dude. Because there was games this year that he looked really good in, and it was like, dude, is this guy going to be like the sixth man of the year? And then other games, it was like, what the hell is going on with him? Yeah. Dude, he's the one that so is, tough, and he's top I, ten in assists, dude. That blows my mind. That like he, dude, he was he was named the NBA seven in the NBA seventy five top players of all time. Yeah, and I mean, it, I think his stats would say that's that's right because he's a triple double machine or has been his whole career. Um, mm-hmm. And he was the one that got the assist for LeBron's, of course, record breaking night, which was also last week. Insane. That was Tuesday. Wild week. Was that Tuesday? That was Tuesday. That was last week. That was, dude, that was last week. Monday was Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. Yeah, because I had the over. I had the over. Yeah. <laughs> Tom Brady <laughs> and Bill Belichick right were on podcast Monday. <laughs> Tuesday was LeBron. Checking the settled. I, I think Thursday was Kevin Durant. Wednesday maybe was a, a light. No, night. I think Wednesday was Kevin Durant. Wednesday, Wednesday night. Wednesday was Kevin Durant. Wednesday night. Wednesday night was Kevin Durant. Durant. Was Kevin Durant. And then, and then it was like Super Bowl weekend after that. And it was just, but it's hilarious. Every, almost everyone who was on the court with LeBron for that bit play is now out of LA, <laughs> um, which is just wild. Dude, but, what do they do? Now? What do they? Obviously, they're not good enough to win. But like, how do they pivot? I I don't know. I mean, I think you're kind of stuck with LeBron um, and with. Like, Dude, I I don't think Anthony Davis wants to be there. Yeah, man. That that was that was a that weird. Dies. Oof. That's a that's a weird thing too, man. That was supposed to be massive, and it, yeah. it, I really do feel that that's what makes me nervous about Kevin Durant. Is every time a trade happens, you know, people kept reflecting on the Brooklyn big three. Is you always think, oh my gosh, this is going to be crazy. This trade's going to be nuts. But what what if it doesn't work out? Yeah, dude. It, it, I feel like most of them don't work out. It always just ends up being the Warriors 
You know, like, oh, the, I mean, the Celtics are another team that built their team through the draft. That They got just dogs that they have brought up. Um, but, yeah, dude, I just, I don't know. It's a, it's a tough time, but. I feel like the Brooklyn Big Three is probably the biggest bust. Yeah, man. Like, probably that's crazy. ever in all sports. Probably ever, right? Yeah, I mean, those were. And, and they had, D, was it DeAndre the Jordan top. was their yeah. center when they first were, like, <laughs> yeah yeah freaking why dude because people were like people were like well what about the thunder and it's like yeah but they were all like barely in only in the league for a few years these guys are all in their primes yep yeah um are you shocked that like the thunder are not making like they didn't kind of make a move with all their picks or do you think they're just gonna keep hoarding um you know what i kind of thought they would maybe do something small right um but I don't think – I don't know. It's, it's tough because they are competing, dude. They're only like two games out, like one game out of like the playing tournament. And I think maybe they just kind of want to let this young roster do its thing. Yeah. And maybe do something in the offseason. I guess, man. I mean, I yeah. Know, what, dude, I mean, like, dude, what's in it? Shea Gilch Alexander is so good. Yeah. He's an all-star, right? And Yeah. Had those red and then, of course, you still got Chet, Hol- Ch- Chet Holmgren. Um, I, I kind of, I, I was, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I was a little disappointed they didn't do something. Yeah, like to drum up more excitement somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, dude. Uh, interesting, interesting trade deadline. But I mean, hey, to to transition from LeBron because we talked about it before we started rolling here. But I posted a LeBron clip last week because I was thinking like. Um, dude, how can I capitalize on the fact that LeBron's going to be trending all week or at least these couple nights? So I went to the DBN on uh, Instagram. I posted that clip of him from a uh, train wreck and dude, it, it got numbies early, right? 15 K dumb numbies. What are we talking 15K, about? 15 K likes 15 K no, fifteen K views right now, views. right now. Let me hit refresh. It says 240,000 right now. Um, what? if I, if I just refresh, it usually just goes up another. Yep, 241 now. Um, and. Jeez. Dude, numbers. Tapped into the algorithm on that one, bro. Tapped into the <laughs> algorithm. In the last 30 days, this is according to the analytics. Look at that. Last 30 days, 1.2 milli impressions. What people watching? What's an impression? Like it's just uh, like when it's someone views. looks at your. It's either okay. they they scrolled past it, or it was on their feed, or yeah, um, yeah, dude, dumb numbies. Since how since do you jumping. capitalize on that, <sighs> dude? I, it's it's tough. I um, you hear about like you build an audience, and like before LeBron. I was at actually before I started posting again, which I started posting. I think it was my birthday, January seventeenth. Uh, I posted the big fat liar one. Um, <laughs> Marty Wolf, baby, let's great go. Movie. Great movie, Marty Wolf. Um, and yeah, like you just hear about like building audience. I gained about like four hundred followers since all that too, which like that's kind of where you, that's kind of what you want to do is hope that it. Yeah, you get followers, but people keep posting it on their stories. That's what I keep getting. Like reposting it? Yeah, I'm getting. So, like, if I click this right here, it shows all the people who repost. That's LeBron. And I'm just clicking through. These are all people who. Oh, it says five people. But yeah. It's just random. Random. That they saw it. They're like, oh, like real people or like bots? Yeah, no, they're real people. And it shows here, too, that 4,500 people saw this clip and sent it to somebody else. Or, like, what? yeah, being That's... like, or they comment and be like, OMG, like, look at this LeBron thing. I, I get that a lot. And what's funny, too, is I'll see someone will, like, view that LeBron clip, and that's what they saw. And then they'll go and they'll, like, watch. I'll see it in, like, the notifications. They'll go and watch, like, they almost, like, binge the DBN. They'll, like, yeah. they'll go through all the, like, the what movie else scenes. This guy got on there? Yeah. And the Eminem one went crazy. That's at two hundred twenty thousand. Um, the Robin Williams Goodwill Hunting is at nine hundred seventy-one thousand. 
I was gonna say that one had to go. That one, that one did numbies. Yeah. A lot of uh, suicide talk in the in the comments there. Not as oh, fun. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> Yeesh, man, I don't, I don't know if you want to distance yourself no matter what. Yeah, I, I don't know, but um, and then yeah, then I did another Robin Williams, but yeah, Eminem, Marty Wolf, Dark Knight, mm, only, only a couple duds Dude, in the we, last couple weeks. We gotta find a way to capitalize off this. Yeah, dude, I, I don't. I, We're like, a team here. We're. It's weird, dude. I mean, I, I, I love numbies, but I like numbies in the bank account. You know what I mean? Like those are the numbies we really want. Um, Do you get the numbies on uh, TikTok too, or? I dude, I so I haven't been posting to TikTok, and it it's not because I'm instant. it's not because I'm anti big tech or anything like that. But I just China. It, it's it's too. It's like <laughs> it's like China. Anti China. Um, it's like I don't know. It maybe it's. I, I haven't posted to the DBN TikTok in a minute. Like I stopped because it you're doing wasn't... A YouTube shorts yet. No, I, but I could easily just copy and paste these things to YouTube. I was gonna huh? say I feel like it's a copy paste thing. Yeah, dude. I feel dude, like and I've, been, I've been worried that like, dude, I'm clearly this is a copyright violation, man. I'm just reposting all these movie scenes. And, dude, uh, I assumed you, know you were getting fired. I, I thought I thought about I, that. I thought I thought like you were zoomed out because it avoided that if that was a thing. Like that's why I thought you always like. No, it, it's just a way to make a it. Way. It's a way to make it fit. Like I mean, Goosebumps Cinema and like good fucking movies, they do like just the full screen, right? Where you're like really right. pressed in. It's always Patrick Bateman. Um, but like, <laughs> it is, Sigma, dude. They're, Sigma all, Bale. they're always doing or Fight Club or something. But um, hey, and, hey, it's Patrick Bateman and Mike always liked it already. Before <laughs> yeah, <I did. laughs> Mike. Mike has already <laughs> liked it. Where I'm getting tagged this is you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> dude yeah but no nah, it's just like a different way to do it and then um yeah i don't know i don't i don't know that's why like i mean i've wanted to because like I'll, the stories only like um 90 people will click on the stories uh but there uh, there's 2,000 followers so it's like it's confusing so i mean i barely look at people's stories too i feel like uh, just in general against the stories but hey, is that a, is that a, like a, a common is that a common thing where people aren't doing that? What do you mean? Like, because like, Lacey oh, yeah. was saying, like she never yeah. views stories ever. Ever? You're only swiping. Like on the she does, she she does, she does, but like. I was gonna never, say she like, definitely does. No, she does, but it's not like every time she goes on, she looks like it'll ever be once in a while. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I only no, do, I like mean, the first five or so. Yeah, I'll watch story. I'll watch stories if it's like, uh, like I guess I, I don't watch House of Highlights stories or ESPN stories, but I'll watch like my friends stories. But ESPN comes on my feed, and House of Highlights comes on my feed, and I'll watch those there. Bleacher Report, but I don't. I never click on Bleacher Report story. Um, yeah. No, I don't either. Actually. Um. So it could be that. It's tough to say. Um. But yeah, dude. Numbie has been happening. It it does get hard because I'm like, gosh, what else do I put on here? And it has to be a 90 second window where it's like an interesting 90 seconds, and like the longer it goes, um, the better retention. It's like their algorithm. Are you are you able? Are you able to do like sports highlights? Um, dude, I tried doing UFC once, and that got taken down right away. I'll bet they. Yeah, I'll bet he came at you quick. Dana's UFC. On it. UFC came at me quick. There was another one. Oh, I did um, Dazed and Confused where Matthew McConaughey is giving his speech. And it was like, oh, this audio already exists. And it like made me join that audio. While if you look at all the other videos, it says like DBN audio, Dillamary Network original audio. Um, and I, that happened another spot too where it was like, oh, this people post this clip all the time. So you're going to. Were you doing hey, do you mind if I interrupt? Do you mind, do you mind if I interrupt with some breaking news? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Mikhail Bridges finished with 45, 8, and 5 tonight. Good. Dang. Good. See, like, that's awesome. 45, 45 yeah. points. And that doesn't affect us. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, 17 for 24. Jeez. Holy crap. Three turnovers, 36 minutes. <laughs> that's awesome. Four six from four six from three. And beat the Heat. Dude, Brooklyn's 34 and 24. That's a, not a bad record. Yep. It's a solid record. Yeah, but sure. it's a solid record. I mean, what aren't the Suns? Um, the Suns are thirty-two I think and twenty. Record than the Suns. Yeah. Was the 
I'm gonna jump back. Was the DBN? Were you posting trivia on your story at some point? I was. Yeah, were you, yeah, you, you, was. you were. You, okay, I remember there was at least I one account like, I was following. It used to I do like, like movie trivia. Yeah, I I did it a couple times. It worked a couple times, and then it. Then I think a few times it wasn't working, and I was like, I'm not gonna do this because it's like a lot of work. I gotta like you know turn on the energy and stuff. But I mean, that's what yeah. I gotta do. Because there, was, uh, I know there was another movie account that I followed that would like do one weekly or something like that. They pump out like five questions, like how'd you do? Yeah, yeah those are the those are the good retention ones too. Because you're like, wait till the end. Uh, like I tried to do that with the social network one, Shay, and you commented on it where I was like, what's the next line? And I thought, ooh, maybe that'd be a clever way to get people to watch. Going like, oh, I'll probably know this. I'll probably know this. I'll probably know this. I'm CEO, bitch. And nothing. No, that one just didn't do well in general. But I'm like, sometimes, dude, I will open the DVN and I will just, I'll just watch these clips because I'm like, man, I love this shit. <laughs> it's uh, I do. I like. Oh my gosh, dude, Sean Parker in the club, dude. Isn't that who you want to be? Don't you just want to? <laughs> yeah, like, it is. Like in in that moment, I want I want to be there. Yeah, you do. You know, my date's a Victoria's Secret model. He's like, oh. He's like was that a parable? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good. Um, the water under the Brooklyn Bridge is freezing, it's freezing cold. cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is our time, and you're just like, "Fuck, dude!" You can barely hear him talking. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> you can know, and like, I think that's the, I think that's the best part of that scene because it does feel like you're in a club, just like you're, you're like Jesse Eisenberg <laughs> leaning in on the couch, like, "Oh shit!" He's just it's it's my time. To me. <laughs> you want to end the party at eleven? <laughs> um. <laughs> But Shay, I mean, dude, I guess, what what do you think of The Last of Us, dude? I mean, you have it. You've gotten this. This, this is the third time we've talked about it on the DBN. We didn't do episode four. Um, episode four and five honestly lump well together because they take place in the same spot. Um, spoilers ahead. You can say whatever you want from this point on, of course. Um, and yeah, but. Shay, how how you feeling about so the Last like, of Us, dude? Because you never played the game so either. To be honest with you, I never played the game, and but I wasn't even familiar with it. Like I didn't even know it was a thing. Uh, Mike, I'm sure you knew it was a thing. Absolutely. Uh, so I I had no like prior knowledge of it, or like I knew it was a zombie post apocalyptic show or you know thing, but uh, like normally, like dude, like The Walking Dead, like sucked. Uh, like all those like aren't like they don't really capture my attention uh but dude this is a really good show like it has great storytelling uh like the characters like you really feel for them yeah uh like in episode five what's his name is it kevin that shoots himself or i'm sorry if i spoiled anything sam sam and henry. Henry, kevin henry sam and henry I, henry i'm sorry henry yeah. but dude like i know you only knew him for like one full episode but dude it was like it was gut wrenching when he shot himself, bro. It was. Uh, I mean, I mean, how really, many yeah. how many characters are we going to keep doing this to? Where you you just fall in love? Yeah, with Yeah, man. Like, and you, then yeah. after one episode, and it's like there's not many like shows or movies out there like that. Yeah. Where like after one episode, you're like, holy shit! Like, like you really feel for this person, and like you get like it's gut wrenching. But uh, it's a really good show. We talked about it before we started, but like, man, they really do the zombies well. And I know like it was already a thing on the video game but uh dude they're they're fast like they look like something you would fear yeah you yeah. know what i'm saying like like mike I, mike I know you said you started the walking dead recently but like yeah. dude, they're slow and it's like it's just like it's it's dumb like yeah like this is really like like it, you really feel and like they there haven't been too many moments yet where it's like like it gets your heart racing a little bit but i kind of yeah. feel like we're building towards that yeah um so i'm excited for that definitely yeah, there hasn't, I mean, there hasn't even been a ton of, like, dealing with the infected. Like, this was, this was the Correct. first, yeah. this is the first time where, I mean, there was like a, it was a war scene. And, and this, this kind of goes to the game. And, uh, like, Mike and I talked about last time, uh, the things that I can appreciate about this, the, like, so in the game, there are sequences where you are up above with a rifle, just like Joel was there in that scene where all the infected come out of the ground, and you're prote you're protecting Ellie as she's running from car to car, and you're shooting the clickers, you're shooting everything that comes at her. Wow. So, dude, literally right out of the game, and it might not have been right then, 
um, or like that exact battleground because um, Kathleen, like she, she, like her, the way she ran Pittsburgh um, was a little different, but the Sam and Henry like storyline, oh, it's just, they, they, yeah, like you said, they, they keep doing it to us. They keep giving us these characters and I had no clue. Episode three with um, Bill and Frank, that was totally new to me. No clue what was going to, how that was going to play out. It was incredible. But right when I saw Sam and Henry at the end of episode four, I was like, oh, shoot. You were. Uh, I, I oh, knew, you remembered it? I knew exactly what was going to happen. And, mm. and but I also, I also thought because they kind of fooled us in episode three of like, eh, this might not be exactly like the game. I was also like, dude, maybe, maybe it'll play out maybe different. Maybe he's got a and chance. Then, and, and then when Ellie like does the blood thing and, and she's like, Yo, I'm going to give you some of my blood and it's going to, it's going to help you hopefully. Um, I was oh, like, oh, I, oh, I'm, I'm glad you, I'm glad, I'm glad you brought that scene up. Cause like yeah. when I was watching it in real time and she did that, like I was like, my first thought was like, and I never like, I don't, I, when I'm watching shows like that, like I don't really get like too like locked in on like what's going to happen next. But like, I legitimately was like, I, I wanted to know that very second, like, Oh my God, what's going to happen next? Like yeah. in the morning, is he going to be okay? Or is he going to show signs of being infected? Yeah. Like I thought that was a really interesting scene. I don't know. I don't know why. No, yeah, because I mean the 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 premise is like, oh, this girl's been bit and she's fine. So maybe there's something that like about her that is unique and can save people. And it's like, let's get her somewhere where we can figure out how why she got bit and didn't turn infected. And it's like, oh shoot, this might be it. This might be like the her blood can it's help people, and then we can get to her to a hospital and send out the blood. And I was like, oh, maybe they will do this. But then, yeah, dude, when the morning comes and he's sitting on the edge of the bed in the in the game, he's like standing and he's like twitching, and it's kind of clear, a little more clear. Uh, I'm like, oh no. Um, but yeah, then just the tackle and the moment of just the standoff where like Joel's like, no, 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 like we we need to we need to do something here. And just Henry's like, no, that's like that's my brother, and it's just, uh, and then he had to do what he had to do, and the the side by side of those the side by side of those two scenes are pretty impeccable. I like I saw it on YouTube today. Um, someone stacked them, and it's like, yeah, it's, Man, uh, it's so many of those so far. Yeah, dude, it's. I think that's really cool. Um, and Jeff D. Shows you what a good game they have. Yeah, Jeff yeah, exactly. D. Lowe, Shay, you're you're a fan, of Jeff D. Lowe. Um, I assume he, he put, I, he put up something that like, it's incredible that this episode, episode five was under an hour. Like it was 59 minutes, but still dude, they did so much in under an hour. It was his point. And it's like, I started watching it again, um, just before this and yeah, just like the, the exposition, the way that they kind of create these like little worlds. Cause we're understanding like how each group of people, um, has survived during this apocalypse. And so we see at the beginning of this episode, um, the, the rebellion has won Kansas city and like they've overthrown this. So this city is a little bit more wild west and she, she's got all these prisoners. Um, and you find out that dude, oh, she's man, ruthless, ruthless dude. And rightfully she, so dude, when, when he's like, dude, when he's like, when he, when they, when they find him and he was like, let the kids go. And she was like, no, Kids Sorry. die all the time, whatever. Oh, yeah, dude. like kids die. Heartless. Oh, yeah, dude. She, yeah, she said. She said, "Burn the dude, bodies. What? It's faster." Dude, that scene when, uh, when like when the, uh, the clickers come out of the ground. Dude, that scene. I've lo- I've done research now. So like when that bloater, <laughs> I know comes what a clicker up, is. <laughs> dude, like when that the the big one comes out, dude, dude. I got so hyped for some reason. Yeah. Dude, I was looking forward to that one. The the bloater, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Dude, I was dying yeah. for that. That's what I was looking forward to. Yeah. In the in the game, uh, bloaters they would like rip off like a part of them, like a spore, and then they'd throw it at you, and the spores would hit you, and it'd like destroy your health. So you'd have to be running from them, but also like just unloading clips on that bitch, um, or you know, using whatever gadget or whatever to. To take it down. The little girl clicker, though, that was a little new from what I remember. And that was that was fucked up. Dude, I thought that was, yeah, that was wild. I, 
That one had me on edge, bro. Dude, and because you're in, she's in that car, and you gotta crawl out and confined spaces, and you're and, just stuck in there with her. And it's and it's also still like a little girl, and they're like that's the thing about this is, um, they don't use the word zombies they're because technically they're not zombies these people were just infected right they didn't die and come back to life which i guess that's maybe most zombies but um yeah the fact these just spores burst out of their face and then um yeah cordyceps man cordyceps, cordyceps. dude it's very hey mike i'm on the wagon now dude I, we gotta, hey. we gotta put a stop you gotta get on it <laughs> nine, nine, hey 9 last of us <laughs> we know where we're going cdc baby it's time to get over there. Yeah, yeah I was, I'm on, I'm I was on a rabbit hole on YouTube with that one, man. I was looking at cordyceps. I was looking at like uh, mosquitoes or whatever that like lay their young dude, and, and I was, caterpillars. Geez. I was going I was, down it, man. Dude, I was watching videos on YouTube the other day of it, and like the videos were like eight, nine years old on YouTube where people were talking about it, and I'm yeah. like, what the hell? Like this yeah. is a known thing. Yeah, dude. dude the, yeah, the, National the creator Geographic. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it's uh. Go for it. Yeah, no, yeah, the creators, yeah, talked about, like, this was, like, a thing that was possible and always kind of real in the way that this this, this fun guy um, can, what, what what do they call it? Like, yeah, just take hold of someone's life and then latch on to it and just, in fact, it's uh, yeah. freaking nutty. Did you, you watch did you, you watched the video I sent to the chat, whatever, right, Shay? Yeah, I did. Where it just grabbed the ants, took them right to the the, the lower leaf, and all. I was like, "Oh my gosh, just, man!" Where they, where they throw it off, yeah, 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 exactly. Like the right humidity and temperature that are ample conditions for the cordyceps to live. I mean, it's just that is just insane, man. Crazy, man. Could be as soon, you know. Who knows? That's the, that's the freaky part. But Shay, you're uh, you're a big Sopranos fan, and you're you've seen, um, you know. A, what you you've seen Westworld, you've seen all the HBO shows. Like when when you think about where this may land, and I know we're not done, we're far from done. I don't know how does this feel as far as because that was that was the first take. I thought was just like holy crap. The fact one the numbies that this was pulling was crazy, and still is crazy. So, before I answer that, how many iterations of the video game are there? There's two. two. Last of Us Part, Last of Us, and then Last of Us Part Two. Um, okay, which, so Part Two, answer, are, I thought about, I thought question, about the other day that could easily be two or three seasons because that game lasts forever. So, okay, so to answer your question, being that there's only two games, like it go one of two ways. Like Mike knows, is it going to go one way where it's like Game of Thrones hmm. and they didn't finish the last book, and so now they're just yeah. winging it out here, and then what? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and we all know how that ended. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, like, I like the fact that you said that the second game could be, like, two or three seasons. Yeah. So, I think, like, dude, so, in my opinion, like, like, The Walking Dead, like, the zombie thing on the show got played out after a while. Yeah. So, I'm curious to see, like, how they navigated on this show, because, like, with zombies in a post post apocalyptic world, like I feel like At there's only point, so you much win. you can delve into. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So it's like, are they if they go too far, then it's like okay, they jump the shark like Game of Thrones, or they can just say, hey, like we we're ending it after the second game was supposed to end, and like that's that. So if, like if it stays on that trajectory, it could be a top three, four HBO show ever. Yeah, it's just it's all about how they navigate how they go past what else what, what all there is you know what i'm saying yeah you gotta stick the landing gotta stick the landing exactly and it's been... game of thrones did not and mm-hmm. hopefully they learn from that yeah um did you had you seen chernobyl shay uh yeah i i always watched it once i do want to watch it again um but i thought it was pretty good yeah, same show i still think i thought it was the pretty best good they've done yeah, especially for many series, be like six episodes. I yeah, think it's so good. I want to watch it again. Um, and dude, and some honestly, of it was a little, like a little, like it was. It got a little. I feel like it got a little graphic at times, like not in a bad way, but it was like it's a tough, like kind of took your breath away a little. It took kind of took your breath away. Yeah, I I, uh, I ultimately like. Um, 
I think they're going to be fine in terms of uh, either like even the fact that Chernobyl was a limited series. Like they didn't keep going, and I don't know if they could have kept going, but like I, they could just end this after one, two, or three seasons and just be like, you know, that's that's all we got in this world. Like we're not going any further. Um, because yeah, they took so long to put out a second game, and I don't even know if there were plans for a third. Um, but yeah, it's either way. It's incredible, and I'm like, I'm dreading the fact that there's only three episodes, three, four episodes left. There's nine total, um, and yeah, the the preview for the next one, um, him like it's it's snow capped, and that's the game does jump forward just like it looks like it's about to happen, um, as they get to like Wyoming, and we see another group and how they're living. So and let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Them. Yeah. Yeah. So that kind of surprised me. Like being the when I saw the preview, when I saw that they were already there, like I was already like, wow, like that that moved forward pretty fast. Yeah, yeah. I thought we had like three episodes before we got there. To be honest. Well, honestly, so, we, like, we, when you get there, that's not whoop, that's not the end. That's absolutely not the end. So it's um it's one of those things of like it's just kind of the next stop. Um, but yeah, there, there's lots of time left. There is there's lots of time. Lots of lots of characters still to meet. Um, I think it was like I, Pedro Pascal and uh, Bella Ramsey. Like, I I think we're gonna see hopefully just a lot more of them two um, going forward because it has been a lot of everybody else. Um, I the, I love the little line at the beginning of this episode where um, I think it's yeah it's Henry is like, you know, they're, they're, they woke him up in the middle of the night and they have the guns drawn. He's like, hey, I'm going to put these guns down and we're good, right? And Joel's just like, yeah, sure. And she's like, he's an asshole. It's an asshole voice thing. And that is like straight out of the game too. Their little banter of like, it's like it's not quite father-daughter, but it but it is. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see more of that. Dude, I, I, know, I know how you guys feel about Miles Teller. Dude, but I sort of feel that way about Pedro Pascal. Dude, Pedro Pascal's a beast, man. He's on top of the world right now. Yeah, dude. He is. Yeah, uh, he is. Hey, hey, but Miles Teller's standing right next to him now. Yeah, dude. If they did something together, man, <laughs> get me there. Uh, yeah, talk about dumb nummies. Did you uh, – that was a uh, – that was also, I mean, I guess technically last <laughs> week, but Pedro Pascal's SNL too, when he – did you guys see the Mario Kart uh, sketch? Yeah, and they said it was better than the new movie already. Oh my gosh, yeah, dude. I, I'm, it's like when they did the Joker with the Sesame Street. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty bomb. Um, yeah, Last of Us. I'm excited. It's it's another reason to look forward to Sunday nights. Football season's over. You know, basketball season. Like it's we're still dragging. We're still not. You know, uh, March Madness coming up though. I mean. Where are we going to be? Yes, sir. Where yeah, we we're already locked in. <laughs> Shay, do you have those days off? Uh, so I have Friday off. Just um, Friday? I entered, I entered a, yeah, because they filled up quick with spring break, so all like, the guys took it off for the kids. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm taking it off for March Madness reasons. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, for no, kids, too, a, for like kids a, to make their free throws is, is why you're taking it off. Exactly, but no, they sent it. Uh, they sent an email the other day saying that one of the guys that has the whole week off is actually retiring early, so they're gonna do like a, a lottery to see who gets those days. And I put in for it. We'll see what happens. Like I for sure have Friday off. Um, we'll see about the other days though. Even taking work off is a gamble in that town, huh? Crazy <laughs> lottery. Like, like, like Bunch this, of squares this Friday. <laughs> Like this, this, this upcoming Friday, I'm calling out sick, and like I feel so guilty about it. But it's like, yeah. hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh. Guess so. All right, boys. Well, uh, hey, thanks for coming on. Thanks for uh, thanks for doing this. It's a cool hour, thanks hour for two. Us. Um, yeah, uh, Mike. Any 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 words? Any any plugs? You know, you got you got anything going on in your life? <laughs> no, no plugs. Any any, yeah, any no. shouts out? Any uh, any shout outs you want to make? How about this, Mike? How about this? Uh, shout out to the my, DBN. Shout out to the DBN. But I, I told you on Saturday that my friend bought a one-way ticket to Japan, and his oh, name is Mike. Oh, that's right. And his name is Mike. And you said, I'm blowing more weekend, more money this weekend than I would be <laughs> if I was going to Japan. I, and it's true, man. I'm pissed. Like I went to Japan for cheaper than I had one weekend here. Man. Yeah, he's going in August. 
Hey, hey, MGM Japan is coming soon. Wait, what? MGM Japan? Hey, I'm there. Yeah. It's I'm being there. built. I'll be there. I'll be there, man. I'm there. I don't know if they do my well. I, 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 they actually they, they do do a little bit of gambling over there. We got kicked out of that place pretty quickly. I just don't know how they how they. Oh, that works. arcade. Yeah, that was gambling. Oh yeah, we couldn't read those super machines loud. though. Yeah. Yeah, we put in like twenty bucks and lost it right away. That's all I know. Oh man, yeah. That was was that Osaka? Uh, dude, that was Tokyo. That was Red Light District. <laughs> red Light District. Gosh, the presentation of those people. Gosh, incredible. Um, Shay, how about Shay? How about you? How's your dinner coming along? Um, I'm eating it now. It's fantastic. Fa- fantastic. It's um, fantastic, man. Shay, what um I guess for you, what uh any words for Dave Portnoy on his Venetia's uh review here and where he should have gone. You hey, said, what did he say? I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it. What did he, he say? Did he give it a five six or a six two? He, he like said that. it was Domino's pizza. He did. He, he gave it a five nine or something dude, like that. And honestly, it didn't look good. It really didn't. He it, like he lifted it up and it was like white underneath. The pizza did not look done. And he always does the It was like sloppy. Yeah, well, no, it just it looked like undercooked on the bottom. Uh, I wonder what Venezia's he went to. It said Tempe. Tempe. He was like, "Where am I?" He's like, "Oh, the one on Mill, the one on Mill, the one on Mill." Yeah. Yeah, he's like, "Where am I?" Tempe. Oh, um, Tempe. And then he did this. He's literally like, "Oh yeah, ASU." And then he did this. Oh yeah, he's like, "Go Devils." That's what he did. Yeah. How dare he? Very disrespectful. Uh, I think he needs to get another, give it another chance. Because you're right, Dylan. The one on Ellsworth is fantastic. Yeah, the Ellsworth one, man, can't be beat. He, uh, no, dude, he must, can't. he must get so like those, those things must do so well because like people go so hard for their food or for their pizza that like if he gives a bad review, he's gonna hear it from a bunch of people. Gives a good one, same thing. Like, or dude, it, dude, I, think, I think it's crazy how like how big like his pizza reviews are. Yeah, and it's just it's so simple. like that's crazy to me. Yeah, it's wild, man. The fact that he's still doing um, um, years ago he started. Yeah, and how he's not like obese. You saying something? I think he tried to, but I think he's cutting out. I saw like his thing come on, and then it like showed like he had like low signal. Wait, can you hear me? Yeah, you know. Okay, me. we got you. Oh, I think I think I accidentally uh, hit mute. Uh, when is this episode coming out? Sunday night. I think we're Sunday nights again. We're we're gonna go back. At, no, 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 this episode. Oh, tonight. Oh, it's gonna come out tonight. Yeah, Waste or time. yeah, yeah. I'll uh, I'll, I'll whip okay. it up right now, and uh, yeah. Why? Do you want it to come out tomorrow? Uh, no, because yeah, I ju- it's just something that's like if people are watching, I just have like a. Are you are you like working? I right sort now? of have a little. No, no, no. Give I'm a lock. You want to was... tell him or what? A ASU is playing Colorado tomorrow. Okay. Um, if I had to guess, if I had to guess, I would say ASU is probably two point favorites. If I had to guess, uh, I think they'll cover. Okay. All right. I mean, I think they'll good cover. To know. Squad ride. I mean, there a lot gets. I, yeah, I, I've. Yeah. If, if it's anything, I don't think the lines out yet. I don't think the lines out yet. But if it's anything lower than two and a half, I would hammer ASU. Hmm. Yeah, that's just my two cents. I mean, hey, I know I know a little something about a Colorado spread, if you know what I mean. And I, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> I, uh, it'd be hard for me to go against that. Uh, so that's all I'll say. Uh, thanks everyone for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, take that lock to the bank. Thanks. <laughs>